Hey guys, that is your Rushes here. Got this gameplay of Ground One Villa. Gonna be using the Spaz 12. And uh, gonna own these kids. Gonna go 26 and 4, 6.5 KD. Um, don't really care about my KD anymore. Um, haven't, I haven't touched Call of Duty in like forever. I haven't, I haven't played, well, like I played a couple days ago, but like before that, I didn't play for like two months. And um, I didn't play, I like got off Xbox like four months ago. So, yeah, Call of Duty, it's like trying to walk again. But uh, after maybe 20 minutes, I picked it back up and started owning kids again. And it's awesome. <clears throat> so I got this gameplay and it's pretty awesome. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. While I talk about various subjects as like, such as MW3. Um, so how about that MW3? There's gonna be, I heard, well actually I saw that there's gonna be three classes. And one's called Specialist, one's called, uh, one's gonna be the Assault, and one's gonna be like, team based. So I'm gonna be a freaking specialist because I'm like a tank. I was a tank in MW2, so I should be able to be a tank in MW3. And I was pretty much a tank in Black Ops too, because it was easy to hold down kills and hold down like objectives and crap. Because uh, most COD players are impatient, and uh, I use that to my advantage. Um, I mean, I'm impatient a lot because I gave I I didn't like I had the first time I got Call of Duty, I was like. Hey, what if I start making videos like Blame Truth, you know? Should I do them for fun or should I do it for KD and make people like be like, Oh my god, that guy's freaking awesome. Or, I had the decision to like go for montage clips. But I chose to sort of do both. And uh, it turned out well for me. I mean, I've gotten over 4,000 subscribers. Thank you for 4,000. Um, so yeah, this is also a thank you video too. So thank you guys. Uh, anyone who liked it, anyone who's like been watching my videos like for years, anyway. Oh, well, it's not for years, but it's only been about a year and a half, maybe. <clears throat> I s believe it or not, I started this. At, I started this in eighth grade. Uh, well, I didn't. No, I started this at the end of eighth grade, which is somewhere in like June or July, and like, um, you know. Not many people have faith in you when you just start. I remember like having about like 20 subs and I was like, I was so proud of myself for having like 20 subs that like, I was like, I was like, dude, I, I was like talking to my friends, they were, I was like, guys, look, I have 20 subs. They're like, okay, what to do, whatever, you know. Um, but yeah, that was a real big accomplishment for me and that ended up turning into 4,000 subs. <clears throat> so yeah. Thank you all. I love you so much. Um, MW3 is gonna seem interesting because I mean, I hopefully Infinity Ward uh, fixed what they didn't do, uh, fixed what they didn't fix in MW2, which was um, Danger Close, Commando, and One Man Army, and all kinds of other bugs and like flaws of the game that could get you numerous amounts of kills without without it being fair. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> if only if only they did that in MW2, I think people would like totally play MW2 a lot more than Black Ops. I mean, they still do right now, but I think there would be a lot more people on MW2 than Black Ops. I mean, as balanced as Black Ops is, it just doesn't feel. I mean, it's not as chaotic as MW3 is, even though like. I mean, I hate noob tubes and stuff, but, I mean, it's just a part of, like, it's just a part of the game, and it has to be there, you know. I mean, it can't help itself. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, hopefully they don't screw up. And I can't wait for that spec ops, like, zombie, it's not a zombie mode, but it's like, you kill, you kill waves of soldiers, and it gets progressively harder, similar to zombies. And you get points to it, too, and I like that. So I'm gonna probably be pay playing that. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so my life has been really hectic lately. I've been, I've just been like straight up just school and like busyness all day long. Um, I mean, I like this girl in my class and like, too bad. I, I'm not just, I'm not gonna talk about her, but like, well, I'm gonna talk about her. Um, she's a really nice girl, but uh, just, I, I just have to wait to make the right move, and, um, 
Like, because <clears throat> like some of my classmates watch this, and I don't, I don't want them to know who. I mean, the people I like trust, they they know who, but like, I don't really want anyone to really know who I'm talking about. Because like, if I say this one, like one fact, they're like already, they already know who it is. So, or like she might know who she is, but she doesn't, she doesn't watch these. So. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it at all. But anyways, yeah, I like your girl. And other than that, I've been like studying so much and like cramming it. Well not cramming, but like trying to find ways to learn better. And it's been sophomore year is so hectic. I mean I heard that sophomore and junior year are your like most like hardest years and freshman and senior year are your easiest years. And uh I've been training really hard for tennis and stuff. I've been conditioning and like exercising, but like uh, on the weekend, I ate a whole bunch of pizza, and now I'm back to square one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I like lost like three pounds like these past two weeks, and I ate pizza and I gained like a pound back. Ugh. So I'm gonna work at that, you know, try to slim my diet down. And uh, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Hope you guys enjoyed what's going on in my life. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, also, you know, one thing I want to know, uh, what's your guys' like favorite song? I just want to know that, so maybe I'll like that song too and I'll get it on my iPod or, or music listening device. Um, yeah, tell me a song in the comments below because I, I, I'm like running out of shit to listen to and I really want some new crap to listen to. Don't give me that bull, bull crap mainstream crap, okay? I don't, I don't like listening to anything really new because like it's all junk, okay? It's, it's poison to the ears. And I don't ever want to hear Soldier Boy or freaking like anything Jay Z, freaking Drake or crap like that. I don't want to listen to that crap. Give me, give me a song that that means something to you. That actually means something, not just repetitive lyrics about sex, drugs, and violence. Okay. Um, as fun as as fun and stupid as those songs are. Um, don't send me them or whatever. I uh, don't even like mention about it. I don't. I hate those. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. Please leave a like rating. So uh, yeah, I love you guys. Peace out.